Coach, opening thoughts? Well, I'm happy we played 70 minutes. This is a very powerful team, Syracuse. And uh, we knew going into the match that uh, we're going to have to have the best game to keep the game close. And the opportunity to win, we're going to have to have the best game of the year, probably. Uh, we did it. We, we fought for 70 minutes. Uh, I think that we were very challenged in, on the attack line. We were challenged in the midfield and on the back line. Uh, we stepped to every challenge, starting with Caitlin Dutour in the back in the end goal. She played a fantastic game today, had so much, so much confidence. Uh, she made a big difference um, in the defensive unit. Uh, the defensive line, really, I can't say enough about, about the uh, Steph, Steph, Carissa, and Sami. They played so strong, they never gave up. Um, in the midfield, uh, we did a great job against, I think, one of the fastest and strongest midfields in, in the nation. And um, Charlotte Moore really um, held together in the central mid. Great power from Marta, Marta Pinas, and Holly Andrews, and Emily Gallagher today. Um, I was really happy with Jill Kirkpatrick. Um, um, she subbed in, and she did a great job. As well. Coach, you know, Carissa played such a big role, especially today. She ended up making that play, scoring a goal herself. Can you talk a little bit about her play this weekend? Uh, she really, I, we're so proud of what she did this weekend. I mean, she's, she hasn't even come close to tapping her potential, but I'll take what she did this weekend really unbelievable. She's, she's playing with so much fortitude and so much confidence. She hardly made many mistakes back there and the central back position is a, is a tough place to make a mistake. And uh, Having Caitlin Dutour right behind her I think has given her a lot of confidence and uh, they're working extremely well together. But I'm so proud of what she's, she did on the defense of an amazing pressure of Syracuse. And uh, to get her first collegiate goal um, was really great. But what do you think the problem was offensively why you guys couldn't really get anything going? Well, Syracuse's defense is very, very strong and um, very, very smart. So they were really able to close in the space uh, amongst, I think, we have one of the fastest striker lines there is in the CA and maybe even in the nation, but they did a very good job um, to counter the space, uh, step up in a double team a lot of the time, and they're very organized in the backfield to be able to do that, and that was something we, we weren't able to capitalize on. We had a few breaks, and then it definitely got us into the circle, and we were able to get a couple corners, but um, they did a remarkable job. Now, overall, when you look at the weekend, what positive are you taking out of it? Well, we, we play some great hockey, and um, you know we're, we're going to be working a lot on our outletting and pressing and, and two different types of games with style and Syracuse. I thought we adapted well to uh, both the levels, and, um, and the most important thing is we got to continue to get better. That's the most important thing, and uh, we're definitely going to use a team, a team and a game like Syracuse as we did today. We can only develop from there. Two games in three days. Now you have Fairfield on Wednesday before back-to-back. Uh, -back this upcoming weekend, uh, are you taking a break? And how much are you really guys working on it during this week of practice? Well, this is you know this is where it gets a little bit tough. We we are able to recover uh, tomorrow, but it is only one day. It's a long weekend. And we've got to play on Wednesday, so uh, we've got to take some time to recover and taper a little bit. We have a lot of depth, so that's going to be used um, definitely on Wednesday, and um, that's going to go in our favor uh, for most of the matches. Thank you.